Yeah. Alright, go over here. We walk down here to this part and we'll be able to walk right up on the basin. Yeah, let's go check it out. Were you already down here? Yeah, they won't let anybody in this right now. Well, you can tell all this is flooded. Yeah. Look at the power of Mother Nature. These are boats here, Fort Myers, Florida, downtown. You saw it on the news at the time when Hurricane Ian was passing through, it was flooded. But these things came right onto land. These powerful, big, giant boats came right onto land. Look at that. It's a mess out here. This this area flooded. Look at that. And they, you know, these things were all pushed into one another. There's a guy over there on his boat there. Look at that. Serious damage. Serious damage to these boats. Look at that. Wow. Just came right on shore. I mean these are these are million dollar boats. Million dollar boats right here. Crazy. Look at this. City put up caution signs. Look at this. And right up. And it stinks. It stinks around here. You could smell that, you know, that fishy, bad, rotten smell. More boats over there. Look at the damaged boats. Burnt out. This is pretty bad there. I'm gonna go over here real quick. What's all that stuff over there? Do you remember that last time when we have boat rolling, we go on uh, right now and get down there? Yeah. But it's how we get down there. Look at that boat up in the air over there. Yeah. Look. You you can see your friend right here. That means you, you you can know it, how the water coming up there. You see the water? Yeah. Can we go over there around that yeah, way? Yeah, we can walk around. Let's, Let's go over there. Let's just take a look. So this is old Legacy Harbor right here. This is where all the big yachts and stuff always. I mean, right there. That's like 50 million in boats. So this building right over here to the left is called High Point Place. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful building. So the people up there got this a, a, a basically bird's eye view of all these yachts just being thrown into the corner over here wow. and blasted the car. I most, can't believe the devastation. Of these yachts, people lived on them. Some of them did, absolutely. I'm going to tell you right now, you look at all that over there with all those boats. You know how much money's sitting over there? Oh, yeah. yeah. I said 50 million. You think it's more than that? Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. So look at this right here. This is part of the seawall that used to sit over here along the damn river. Oh, and wow. It got off, moved. 
look at this. You see this behind us? This is parts of the seawall that used to sit along the river over here. So it's been lifted up, up and brought up here. Look, they're all Whoa. through here. Wow. There's one right there. There's three or four down there. So they're loading them up on these trailers and getting them out of here. So the, it just pulled these brick Yeah, because they thing. were tied to them. So when they got up, it pulled them all out with them. Wow, you know, look at look at these concrete. Water was the main culprit, not you know that they were tied to boats. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that the, piece the there, the storm surge dogs. brought that in. That and that big so, cement ch uh, chunk from way over there on the other side of those uh -huh. boats. So the city of Fort Myers was just building this uh, park here. It used to be kind of like a big open area. So Hurricane Charlie came through here. Did, did Hurricane yeah. Charlie do this type of damage? Um, you know, it came a little bit towards more Punta Gorda. Okay, so yeah, not here. Area. Yeah, not specifically here, but, you know, we got... Yeah, Look at this. Where'd this come from? This is part of the seawall. Part of the seawall. Sea this is part of the seawall from way over there that got pushed over here during that powerful storm surge that you saw on TV. Look, just junk all over the place. Did they put this fence to us up or it's always been here? No, it's been like this because they're building in here this new park and they uh, kicked all the homeless people out because they used to live here. Yeah. So when they started renovating this, they put up these fences to keep those people out. You see a big tree gone. Yeah, we'll have to come back and check all that equipment they just put. All down here, yeah, mess. You know, some of these are the biggest and old oak trees down through here. Thank God they're still standing. So when we get up here, here's the river. We can probably walk over here if they don't have a block off and actually get right in the river. Okay. Yeah, I like to see. To yeah. see. Look at that. All these blocks of seawall. Bam, 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 bam. Got pushed from way over here. Storm surge. Hey, lucky the jungle gym is still there. Yeah, whoever built that jungle gym should have built the houses. Seawall. Another piece of the seawall right here. Just got moved. Wow. That's crazy. Look, more seawall. How to pick it up? And they move. Oh yeah, yeah, they're moving it. So they're shipping it. We're gonna take a walk on the river, but you see the massive amount of seawalls that got broken off. Look at this. And a, and, and a piece of wood is attached. Yeah. And look, there's shells on it. This one under the water before, but now the pool up here. Hey, look. Do you know how heavy it is? Oh, That's tons. Yeah. Look at the screws and the washers on this damn thing. I mean, look at this. Do you think you could literally pick this thing up? Hell no. Can you imagine the pressure? of the sea that must have caused this to lift up and bring it all the way into town. Unbelievable. And look, it's all just mass. It all just got pushed. Look at all this. Let's go look at the seawall and see actually what happened. This is insane, people. This is insane. The seawall is over there and it all got pushed up. Look at all this. This does not belong here. Look at this. And look at that piece right there. Look at that piece. Absolutely insane. The amount of damage here. Watch your step, yes. Oh, and this piece here came all the way over here. Look at 
Đấy. Here's a wall. Look at this. This is the seawall. This came from over there, pushed all the way up this way. For shore power only. Yeah, I'll be right there. Wires just crushed. Crushed this trash can. It stinks. You, it stinks like fish. Almost plowed right into. The jungle gym. Look at the rope. This is rope. I'll come back to this. This this is absolutely insane. I'm gonna go over here. All the boats over there. I don't think Fort Myers has ever experienced anything like this. Look at this concrete over here with this light hole. Why it's still soupy. That's that's how far. Look at the seawall. This is how far it came. Look at this. Trees just carried. So this entire seawall here just got pushed. Right. This is it. Uh huh. So what you saw way over there. That here. That belongs to here. <laughs> belongs to here. You see this one? This up there and have this up by uh like So the water that's at least six feet there. So the storm surge here had to be close to eight feet, at least, because you can, if this is the seawall and all this got pushed way over there, that's powerful. That is powerful. Let's go over here and look at the boats. Get that. And you know, authorities haven't even cleared all this off yet. Look at this seawall plows into all the seawall from here plows into the bathrooms. Look at that. That's
look at this boat. That is absolutely insane. This boat, these 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 million dollar boats just come right in and plow in with the seawall. Window blown out. Fence down. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at all these sunken boats. Look at all them. Destruction. Absolute destruction. I feel so bad. I mean, you know, it's bad. I feel bad for everyone affected by this tragedy. It's more of the seawall. Look at these boats over here just crushed. Really bad. This is really, really bad. You know, when when the hurricane come in, the water above the floor come right here. Yeah, that's that's how I'm figuring because the seawall. Yeah. yeah. So you figure, look, it you, that that is about four, six, four to six feet as it is, plus of that. So it had to be close to above eight, there. ten feet. So that when it can it pull all the boat up there. I mean, you had boat. to pull the boats. These boat. boats yes. had to be pulled from all over here. <laughs> You're not doing that on just six, five feet surge. It had to be. How big you think the surge was here? How big do you think the storm surge was here? 12 foot. 12 no, feet. It was, uh, wow, it was 15 foot or higher on the beach. You know, up river. Man, you, yeah, you're probably 12, 15 foot. Yeah, because oh. it had to be taller than him at least. Yeah. It's six feet there, so that's double right there almost. 12. Yeah. I was thinking eight, but yeah, yeah. more. Yeah, you're probably 10 to 12, something like that. 10 to 12 feet. I mean, all the businesses in the downtown area were all flooded out. You know, they were probably three, four feet high in the downtown area. So this is the story here. We're out here just looking at the damage. We are also out here giving supplies out to people in need. And we said we we're going to come down downtown Fort Myers to check out. Not, I'm not from this area, so I don't know specifically what bridge this is or what condo this is. And then this pier are taken out. It looks like something big here. Uh, seawall in the water really really bad <laughs>
really, really bad. Let me put it in the all those boats got crushed. The power of Mother Nature. We can go up there. Yeah. Right now, the So still here. But the sidewalk will keep going to the bridge. Did that side get hit over there? You got, you know. Uh, did that side get any surge over there too? No, surge came. They got surge over there, but it was lower because it all came this way. Pushing this way. So it's basically the the counter clock went. This was at the southern part of the storm, and it yeah, kind of so basically over here, and the surge came this way. Wow. Wow. These boats got pushed. You've seen the damage firsthand. The power of Mother Nature. Yeah, that's that's almost oh five feet. Additional six feet. They're estimating eleven or six fifteen feet. You know, it definitely looks like it was over ten. I'll just say ten. Pushed all that. All that. What do you guys think? You don't know, but we go rally down. Yeah, we remember you know, to oh, see right yeah. there. We're standing to go to the big boat right there to, to go around the big way with the uh, boatman. You remember, remember yep. that year? Yeah. That is how we come down. Crazy here now. Crazy here now. Yeah. So here you guys go. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I'm just covering damage, the after effects of Hurricane. Uh, Eon surveying damage. I was um, up in Inglewood, saw damage up there. Placida saw damage there. That's on the coast of Sarasota County. Uh, Northport has a lot of home damage, tree uh, power lines that were down uh, a few days after Hurricane Ian hit, along with uh, flooding up there from the uh, the two rivers up there. It's pretty bad. Uh, Port Charlotte's bad. Point de Gorda's bad. Pine Island, Sanibel Island, you can't even get to. Uh, Bonita Springs, Bonita bad. You know, a lot. You know, in a lot of these communities, still they're doing rescues out there where you can't get onto the islands. It's just very, very bad. This was a uh, storm that's going to be economically in the billions, tens of billions of dollars. Probably the most costly hurricane ever in Florida history. <sighs> Fortunately, many people lost their lives, families destroyed, families are uprooted right now. Um, powers out all over the place it's bad god bless and uh everyone be safe